Well, hello there and welcome back to my channel. As you know, I love playing the paddle ball, the bounce back paddle ball, <laughs> bolo bat as they called it in days in the 1960s. Absolutely. Be sure to click and watch and subscribe to my channel to learn more about things that older people do, seniors, and the things we did when we were growing up. Uh, one of the most exciting uh, videos, a couple of them actually are my gray hair transition and when I did pedal balling, uh, the tutorial that is has over 16,000 views at this point. But today I'm going to be unboxing this shilling one. Okay, this is by a company that's called Shilling. It's the paddle ball. I'm actually opening it up for the first time today. So get ready, brace yourself. I'm going to open it right now for the very first time and see how it compares to the uh, Toy Smith pedal ball that I use in other videos. All right. First of all, I like the packaging. The packaging is really nice. It's a plastic uh, covering and uh, very durable. So let's do, let's do that now. <laughs> yes. And I got this at my local uh, hobby store at Hobby Town. Okay. Reminds me of those raincoats that we used to wear a long time ago. There we go. We got it open. It's a little thicker than the Toy Smith. I don't know if you can see that. Just a little bit thicker. It has the word shilling on it. Okay. Checking it out there. And it has that little hole in the middle just like the other uh, Toy Smith, which you can hold your ball in to keep it. Now the string, I notice immediately, is shorter. This string is shorter than the Toy Smith paddle ball. The Toy Smith paddle ball string is around 29 inches or so. And this one's about maybe about uh, 14, maybe 16, 16 inches. So right off the bat, uh, little kids don't have to uh, shorten the string. Uh, kids can do it starting at the age of five. So, yeah. Um, yeah, this is for kids who are five plus, but there is nothing wrong with starting at an earlier age. Uh, if, they can, if kids can move their hands, swing their arms up and down, have a little bit of rhythm, it's perfect. It's perfect. So, I may as well do a few I'm not going to do as many as I can really do, but I will just do a few for you. This will be my first time trying to paddle ball with this shilling paddle ball. So let's see. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so far it's short. I'm used to long. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, you are watching live the first time. The string is a little bit thicker than the uh, Toy Smith. So let's check it out. Okay, I got 12 in. Okay, so I've got to practice more to do a little bit better. So I, I'm used to doing up to at least 200 paddle balls up and down. Let's do it a little bit more. Sometimes the light affects you. So the lighting in the room, it makes it a little bit harder to see. This is natural light and I have light on me. So let's try to give it another go and then I'll let you go and then I'll come back again. And when I come back the next time, I'll probably get about a hundred petals in. Okay. All right. It's really fumbly. All right, so it looks like I got about 65 or so in. That's not bad for the first time with this shilling paddle ball. So listen, make sure you like and subscribe and watch some of my some of my other paddle ball videos. This will make the fifth uh, video of that I've posted doing the paddle ball bounce back paddle ball. Listen, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And watch my tutorial. It'll help you count. Paddle ball gives you confidence 
and it gives you strength in your arm and hand-eye coordination. All right. Have a great day.